Good morning, welcome back to Casa Texpina. We're on build day number 148. Yes, 148. Um, there is such a big flurry of activity going already. I'm just gonna jump right into the action. So let's get started. Hey Andrew, you mentioned give Mr. Jerome more red horse. So we put Mr. Red Horse in the in the hole with Jerome. Is that not what you meant? <laughs> <laughs> more red horse. <laughs> Alright, we got delivery this morning. We were expecting two grills. We've got three. So these are the last three grills. Well, sorry, this will take probably these three grills here in the front. And then they've got one more grill that'll go on the far back side by the bunkhouse before they start working on the service gates where at Roman Simi is standing. All right. Busy early morning. All tubular steel, so it's kind of heavy. And we are delivered. Three grills delivered. One more to go. <laughs> all right, this morning they're starting off early with all the uh, window trims, all the window molding. So we are painting the exterior window moldings today. Um, they're gonna paint all those. You're gonna, it's, the engineer wanted to do this so that we could see a big difference uh, between what the window moldings are gonna look like uh, contrasted by the stone cladding. Uh, so they're actually going around and painting all of these. Uh, the paint they're using to start off with, it's right here, it's a Boysen uh, B701 flat acrylic, oh, flat latex white acrylic. Um, this is just the initial prime coat. Uh, so they'll let this dry. He's also mixing um, the skim coat over here on the side. So they're, uh, they're going to be putting the skim coat on first and then going over the top with the, uh, the permacoat. Skim coat first, right? And then the paint. Good. See, sometimes I get it right. <laughs> all right, and inside they're still skim coating. Mr. Wilson is uh, skim coating all around the house. Um, so he worked on this yesterday. He's finding all the places that do not have skim coat yet and working on getting those skim coated. Um, so initially right over here in the dirty kitchen. See, as Mr. Wilson starting to get a roof over his head, he's uh, enjoying all the nice shade. Smart man, smart man. <laughs> it's over here on the side too. Um, this is Mr. Junior, Mr. JR. Um, he is applying part of the skim coat by paintbrush, uh, taking care of uh, some of the cracks and the fine detailing right up close to the wall cladding. Um, so they're going to hit the, the big cracks first uh, with the skim coat, the liqui liquefied skim coat. And then they're going to come back over it with the powder skim coat that Mr. Ricky was working on right over here in the front. Um, after that, then they'll come back over it again with the first layer of uh, prime coat, which is that Boysen 701 is what they're using for a prime coat. Down here on the bottom, on the uh, patio, Mr. Jericho is starting to work on the... Um, the rebar for the foundation for the septic tank way over there 
so these are going to go in the corners of the septic tank. Uh, They're going to put uh, good rebar uh, in each corner as well as along the bottom and uh, start doing the, uh, the foundation work for it today and continue with building the CMU walls uh, all up around it over the next day or two, uh, being today, Monday, Tuesday kind of thing. All right, all right, so we got the uh, one of the new fence grills going in, and Mr. Donde here, the uh, welding foreman, is starting to place the supports in for the, uh, the bottoms where it connects into the fence line. And as I predicted yesterday, what they'll do is just chip out the location where it needs to go into. Once they get it all in place and get it secured, then the, uh, the carpenters and masons will come back and fill all this in like it was before. All right, the guys up top are uh, continuing to work their way around. So picked up where they left off yesterday morning and continuing over towards the uh to the corner over the top of the garage area so they'll start work keep working that this morning all the way up until lunchtime. after lunch they'll flip back over to the other side or uh start working over here on the south side of the house we'll have to uh watch and see mr ricky here is working the uh skim coat on the window trim on the window nosing you see here he's putting a little putty on it it's like a putty almost by the time he gets done with the, the mixture you know, go back and scrape it, making sure to fill in all of the small cracks. Once that dries, they'll go back and sand it. Using a 120 grit sandpaper. See here? Nice fine sandpaper. You get that all sanded. And then the next thing going on is the boysen. We're using a Boysen 701 flat weight latex white. Again, this is just the first coat, not the final, just the first coat. So Mr. Joel and Mr. Carlito down there are working on, doing the cornering and the, uh, the fine finishing, capping, if you want to call it that, uh, for the top of the fence line. And Mr. Jerome and Mr. Red Horse, Mr. Ben down there are still working on uh, digging out the septic tank. They are going to start digging out the, ex the outside edges uh, for the foundation wall today. Uh, that's what Mr. Jericho was working on over there on the porch. Um, he's working on doing the, um, make, fabricating the rebar columns that are going to go in all the corners all right i had a discussion with the engineer the other day with our engineer the i misspoke uh, a couple of days ago on the video uh regarding the uh kitchens where they're exiting out to uh i had misspoke and said it's going to be going into the um right directly into the storm drain uh he corrected me later uh yesterday actually when he came out and he goes no as a matter of fact what they'll do is they'll come out of the kitchen they'll turn and they'll have their own separate line to the septic tank uh, so they'll go through all three chambers just the same as every other um, effluent pipe from the inside of the house well another large delivery of sand it's going to come right in dump it off over here done all right not sure how this is going to work in the shadows but they've already started digging out the four columns for the posts in the corners that's going to be the uh, foundations 
And then they're also digging out the sides. They're gonna dig out the uh, foundation wall uh, down a little bit deeper than the um, expected depth of the 2.2 meters. So. Mr. Jerome and Mr. Red Horse, Mr. Ben over there, uh, we're gonna start working that out. Let me give a short answer here for uh, my cousin Tessa. Hey, um, you were asking about the white pipes. What are we gonna do with all these white pipes that are drains for the, uh, for the air conditioners? Actually, the, the white ones you see sticking out here are gonna, those five are gonna be going into uh, uh, the condenser units. So we're gonna have five condenser units here. One, two, three, four, five. And those are gonna connect into there. The actual drain lines are already embedded into the, uh, into the wall uh, behind here and going, they've been plastered over and they're coming out down here on the bottoms. Um, actually, this is one here, uh, another one over here. These are the drain lines. Um, those drain lines are going to be connected together and put into the catch basins for the uh, For the rain gutters. Those are all going to connect and go together So that's where that's working at. Um, so you actually won't see these um, I was telling you the one that's going to be above the uh, ceiling um, Over the porch over the back patio is going to be this one here um, That'll walk that'll be above the ceiling level and then when it gets over here to where the actual condensing unit is, it'll connect in the back of the condensing unit. You won't even notice it's there. Same thing with these. These are going to connect right into the back of the condensing units. You won't see them once it's completed. We've got a lot of activity going on here in the front this afternoon. We've got Mr. Jojo down there doing uh, rendering for the fence post. He and Mr. Willie down there in the lime green shirt. And... On this side, the welders are here, Mr. Dande and Mr. Maravik, and they're putting in, um, they're putting prime coat, uh, primer paint on the uh, new grills that they brought in. Uh, one, two right there, and the third still down here on the ground. So that's what they're working on this afternoon. Then, um, if you can see over here in between the two posts, is Mr. Ricky, he's one of our painters, and they're painting, uh, skim coating and paint, putting the uh, first coat of paint on all of the windows, uh, moldings around the house. Uh, Mr. Ricky is here on the front, Mr. Junior is on the back. And then up on top, we've got the brave man, Mr. Junior, Mr. J, Mr. Junior here with the, uh, well, with the uh, tinsmiths, Walking up there on the uh, on the metal barefoot. That is a brave man. He probably walks on uh, hot coals at night too, just for fun. <laughs> and then over in the corner, we've got Mr. Marvin uh, continuing with the um, drain lines for the gutter downspout catch basins. So he's connecting these catch basins from the back corner all the way up here to the front and then it's going to run from this one out to the storm drain so a lot of activity going on in the uh southeast corner of the of the property all right down here in the hole for the septic tank starting to put in the uh parts and pieces for the foundation wall we've already got the cages that they're putting in together for the bottom of the footers one in each corner they've got those two already placed with the spacers on spacing rocks underneath so they've got it's up off the ground get concrete all around it to support it we've already dug the foundation walls all already along the side where those are going to go all the way around so the next step is get the foundation walls get these uh footer cages down there they're going to place in the <coughs> the actual rebar for the column and then start running the foundation rebar for the walls on the sides as well all right these guys are cruising right along today all right guys we want to take a couple minutes to do uh our weekly saturday shout out for new subscribers um today list is kind of short so it's uh, easy to get through real quickly um 
Welcome to Casa Texpina and thank you for commenting and subscribing to our channel. Uh, thank you to Daniel Byler from Ohio. Um, Walter Boggs, thanks for the personal email from Texas. <clears throat> Daryl King, also a fellow Texan, uh, now living in Florida. Uh, I won't hold that against you. Barry and Maita with Barry in the Philippines, uh, Barry in the PI YouTube channel. Fellow Texan as well, living down near Cavite, a little bit uh, west of Manila. Um, <clears throat> Mike Cortez uh, from New York City, uh, living here in Mabalaca, so not too far away from us here. And last but not least, Larry and Manzoeta from uh, Sydney, Australia. Uh, thank you guys for tuning in. Thanks for contributing and appreciate the support.
inside the septic tank. We've got the uh, four corners posts are up. Just rebar in place right now. Um, they have put up a little bit of shoring around the outside to keep all this from flowing back in just in case we get a little bit of rain over the weekend. We just had a nice lightning storm pass by that direction. Every once in a while we get a good flash off of it. All right guys, so painting the exterior window moldings. Also looking at the door molding here on the back patio. So we got the first coat of paint. As you notice, it's still kind of thin. You can see, you can see the edges here. Still see the concrete. So they're still working on it. And now he's doing, Mr. JR over here is working on the skim coat. Another, another coat of skim coat here. Looking good. Let's go around the front and see what Mr. Ricky is working on. Because he's also doing the same thing. Coming through. The inside's really starting to look nice. Uh, good place during the day when it's hot and sunny. Uh, come here and just get the, the cross breeze. The cross breeze here is phenomenal. We're definitely going to probably have to open up some windows once in a while. Okay. Looks like Mr. Ricky is uh, putting on another coat of paint. So we've got paint on the Jack and Jill, bedroom number three, the dining room, and the office. Looking good so far. Does definitely make a difference from what the just the plain uh, cement looked like. The concrete molding, uh, the the white paint on it really makes it stand out against that um, the stone wall backing. Just a minute. So with all the uh, the rain and the lightning around, our uh, daredevils have actually left the building um, so the uh, the tinsmiths and the welders both of our guys that work uh, with electricity and obviously walking around on tin uh, not good during a lightning storm so both of those uh, both of those crews have uh, left for the weekend smartly I would say as you can still hear the uh, thunder in the background all right all right all right to borrow a phrase from my uh Favorite Texas actor, or one of my favorite Texas actors. The uh, windows are looking pretty. So, so we uh, painted the exterior window molding. I think it looks really nice. It's gonna make that, uh, gonna make that stone cladding really pop, to use an old expression from a couple years ago. Um, one thing of note, at the beginning of this week, we had zero roof on top of the house today. Just, let's see, we started on Wednesday with the roofing. So Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, Saturday, th four days. I think we've covered probably about 60 to 65% of the roof line. Uh, those guys, even though it's only a four man crew, family owned business and run, um, they are moving right along, uh, doing a good job and uh, getting that covered up. So <clears throat> we'll come back again on Monday and next week, but hopefully by Saturday next week, this will be all done and we'll have a complete roof on, on top of the system, top of the, the house there. So <sighs> yay, Saturday, payday. Guys are waiting for the bell to ring any minute now. We're gonna go ahead and close up. If y'all like today's video, please give us a big thumbs up. If you'd like to see more of these videos, give us a big uh, click on the button over here for the Costa Tex Pina Star, and you'll be subscribed. Hit the bell icon just below the view screen. You'll be notified of our next video upload for your viewing pleasure. So until we see you again on Monday, have a great afternoon, have a great weekend, and God bless. <laughs>